What's going on YouTube? So, uh, finally got some hard bags here for my R1200 GS Adventure. Uh, as you can see, these are not uh, the OEM BMWs. These are a Brooks Autosport brand. I'll put the uh, name on the screen here. It's basically like a, I would say, Chinese like replica type of uh, case. Um, it's exactly look like like the one from the one that BMW sells, but from way lead cheaper price. <laughs> so the if you don't know that the BMW one is about uh, twelve hundred dollars or something like that or thirteen hundred, this is um, just six hundred something dollars for for the set, and it um, bolts right on to the OEM Adventure racks from BMW, and you don't have to buy um, a separate rack like uh, if you do the GV uh, Trekker, you have to buy their own racks and um other you know other manufacturers you have to buy their own racks but for this one it just uh, because of the system that they built here that i'll show you in a second uh, it just clamps right on so it's really nice so the bag comes with a nice hinge system so it opens actually on from both sides and um, each uh, locking mechanism is its own hinge so technic so basically what that means is you can open it on either side and this each of these becomes a hinge where whichever direction you want to open it so when you open it this way let me see if I can do it with one hand so when you open it that way you can open it this way and it has already a feather uh, here and if you open and then it comes with um, the reflective stickers they throw that in too as well and so if you open it the other way close this up It's hard to do it with one hand, but okay. So like I said, so you can open it on either side. So just um, you know, you can do so whichever you please. I I think I'm gonna do mine opening from the back this way. So I don't know. Just has more room, so I can stand back here and do stuff while I'm uh, working on the top case too, so I can reach in all at the same time. So and then yeah, if you unlatch both sides, the whole cover just comes off. So. I don't know what to do with I don't know what kind of purpose that would be but yeah that you have that option for this top um, this side case All right. so the other side is the same way um, they also throw in um, some stickers for this side too yeah you got some stickers there so uh, let me explain the hinge system here so as you can see this one this uh, there's like hooks here and, and clamps in to this portion here the bottom rail and then you can kind of just swing this around either way um, sideways or the top and it will lock into either here or it will lock in to here so I'll show you that right now alright you guys so I'll try to show you guys here how this goes on so as you can see there's two hooks on this side you simply just hooks down you just push down all the way you'll kind of feel it snugly fit into the the groove there the the rail so it goes in and then you see the, there's these pieces here so just make sure to get that all the way flat there and swing this to the sides that's how it creates the lock and when it's on there it's on there so just kind of support it first before you before you let go I'm gonna open this up so I access the um, the lock mechanism. So here it is. So it goes like that. And then you just kind of spin the lock to tighten it. There you go. And then spin the other side to the other side there. Locks this way. I'll, be, I'll give you guys a view of the inside and see how it locks. To show you guys how it locks. All right. So this is the view from the inside the box. So these this is basically just a locking nut. Um, and this is the way to tighten the the, fla um, the clamps from the other side. So I was just spinning this so until it's snug. And then this is to lock it in place. That's essentially what it is. So same for the other side. Make sure that you got, every you got it clamped. And then you just lock it with the locking nut. And that's it. Um, the inside is really nicely constructed. You, got, you know, you got rivets everywhere. And, Nice welds and seals and everything. It's, it is waterproof, so you got also yeah, like I mentioned, the 
stickers. I don't know where I'm going to put those. But um, I'll give you guys a kind of a walk around, it looks like. Really nice. I, I, I feel like it's the quality is just, it matches the, the look of the bike. It's super nice. And yeah, um, finally you could take more uh, more things when I go to Costco, I guess. I can buy more things. Okay. Um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll try to answer them. Um, I'll, I'll include a link to the website where you can buy this from. Uh, there's a lot of videos about this already. That's how I found out about it. But um, I figured I'll give you guys my take on it. And it's really, I, all I can say is good reviews unless you really, you want to support BMW and buy their, you know, side cases, that's fine. But um, I, I really don't have um, room to spend $1,200 on side cases because I always just use the top case. Uh, my everyday riding to work everywhere and i would rarely use this to be honest um it's just that um when i i'm always looking for it when i need it and you know now that i have it, it's good to have um lane splitting wise um it's a little bit past the handlebars just a little bit just like a touch so as long as i'm clearing my handlebars this shouldn't be that big of a deal so i just need to make sure that when I, you know, go in and out of traffic that, um, yeah, so it, it's, it's going to get really kind of tricky, but that's just, that's just how it is. It kind of looks better. It kind of looks better without the top case, like overall, it's just kind of, I like the look. Yeah, like I said, they come with a, they come with a silver, but, um, I just wanted to match some accents of the bike, which is black. So chose the black one. Okay, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll try to answer those for you. Oh, maybe I'll show you guys how it looks with the top case on. Hang on a second here. Yep, so it's my top case is a 52 liter. Uh, it looks big to some people, but to be honest with you, if you're using it for how I use it, it's just, you know, buying stuff, going to stores, buying things. It fits two helmets, um, but you can't fit your jacket in there once you put the helmets on. So so you, now I can put two helmets, jackets, shoes, you know, it's just that's... And like I said, you can open it this way or you can open it the other way. Uh, it's always hard. So this one barely clears a 52 liter GV... Um, top case so and if i open it this way it will hit this part will hit this so this it's the best way to open it is from the back so so like i said you can access the top case and also put stuff here while you're in the back of the bike that's how i set it up that way yeah okay thank you guys for watching i see you guys on the next video